one who should be apologizing. Sorry, uh, let me explain. I know that you only want to be seen by people you trust. It's rash of me to butt in. But this girl once had an Aranara as her best friend, and they haven't met in a very long time. She's been quite ill, and her world has been turned upside down. It's been so long since she's been able to see her friend that even her memory of him has become hazy. Parting with a friend like that is too sad, and she never wanted that to happen. That's why I want to help her. Her world is still very small. Too small for all the sadness she has to bear. As things are, all she can do is sit alone and think about how happiness is leaving her little by little. About how life has been so unfair to her. Yes. Maybe we're already used to bad luck and we know how to deal with feelings of sorrow and disappointment. But this is her first time dealing with any of this. Life can trip anyone up. What's most important in times like this is for us to support one another. Huh? What do you mean by that? So, that means... Thank you! Thanks for trusting us. stand again, even if I can recover my heart? Huh? He's gone just like that? It looks like the sky here has changed somewhat. My heart... If we had 
could run any further, you would have caught up. I mean, toe to toe with Yaimia! I've outran lots of adults before. Uh, long legs don't necessarily mean you run faster. Training's important, too. <laughs> I won't even be able to compete with you in a few years. Hmm, let's see. Where should we go next? <gasps> Look! Something's floating up ahead! Does it want us to follow it? Hmm, maybe. Let's follow it. Wanna keep chasing after it? You're not feeling worn out yet? Getting tired is part of running. And I love everything about running. Mushrooms here. They're big enough to lie on. That's not what they're for. Let me show you. Oh, so it's for jumping? Watch this. Destination? But Paimon doesn't see an Aranara, just this big stone. I'm so happy. I almost forgot how it feels to be this happy. You know, at first, it felt like my world had shrunk down to a tiny space. But as long as I continue moving forward, new sights will always appear in front of me. My world will keep expanding before my eyes, even though I don't know how I did it. I know I have you all to thank. Oh, that's not important. What's important is that you remember the joy of going through the world. Our memories don't just symbolize our past. It can also shine a light in our future. Once you find the hope in your heart again, that happiness will come back to you. Yes. Thank you, you and Mia. Thank you all. Let's keep looking for Arashani. It doesn't look like he's here. I don't know how to explain this. I don't know what it is, but it feels very familiar. Almost like it's a part of me. I know. Could this stone be your Earthstone? Er Earthstone? It's a very rare ore that symbolizes a person's aspirations and dreams. Since you can see it, that means you've found what you've lost. Is that how it works? It's just like in fairy tales. I thought I'd stopped believing in those. But I'm glad that I found that belief again. them. Hey! Yoimiya! Hey! <sighs> well, we have no choice. We passed through, but nothing seems to have changed. Our 
there a Shawnee? Our Shawnee! <laughs> the R&R &R is sure of a flair for magical journeys. They not only helped Devine find her best friend, but they also showed us what an Earthstone is. Oh, uh, we have to look for one of our own later, to make the purest lens. Yep. It's kind of funny, but Paimon thinks we can actually do it. But we have to bring her back to Sumeru City first. <sighs> her mother must be worried sick. Lovely dream. Don't look so lonely. He's right next to you. Arshani! You're still here! because I lost sight of myself. But I think I understand now. Yoemiya's right. Everyone gets bad luck, but we had to support each other through unlucky times. Thanks for helping me rediscover my memories and dreams. I won't let your work go to waste. <laughs> You've also helped us a lot, so don't be so humble. To be honest, we didn't know where to start with Earthstone. But now that we're on this track, I think we'll find it easy. Yoimiya, you need this Earthstone because you want to see a meteor shower? Yep. Oh, once we find it, you should come with us. If that's how things are, I'm happy to lend you my Earthstone. What? Oh. What just happened? Did you just take glasses out of your chest? <laughs> How'd you know we need this? I didn't. I just thought that since you helped me find my precious friend, I should help you using something precious to me. And then the light turned into this. Is this what you needed? Thank you. I didn't expect us to solve our problem like this. All right, time to give it a go. Not that I know how to use it, but let's see what my intuition says. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, it was uh, pretty obvious. Come on, I'll lead the way. Once we're done watching the meteor shower, I'll accompany you home. Also, thank you for helping us. Actually, let me scrap the pleasantries and give you a heartfelt compliment instead. You all are great storytellers.
we summoned flew up from the ground. They were exactly like fireworks. Ugh, I could have kept watching that forever. That was the realest, grandest, most magical dream I've ever had. Paimon too! Paimon didn't expect you to just pull us onto that shooting star, though. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think about it at all. I just thought it'd be a shame if we didn't try something crazy. me. It really doesn't matter to me if our experience was real or a dream. I really should thank you two, though. You set all this up as a backup plan because you knew that meteor showers are hard to catch, right? Don't worry. I loved it so, so, so much. I think this ranks as the absolute best gift I've ever been given. Oh, whew. that's good. Paimon was afraid you might be angry after hearing the truth. Why would I be? I dreamed about helpful, friendly, cute Aranara. I dreamed that we ran and jumped atop large mushrooms and we discovered Earthstone in a very unexpected way. And as is, we found meteors that blew up from the Earth. And we even became one with the shooting stars themselves. That's right. Dreams themselves may be imaginary, but they're also experiences that can never be relived or replicated. If we were sticklers about truth and fiction, we would have missed out on so much beauty and emotion. <laughs> you sure know your way with words. Paimon's gonna bump you up a few places on the Paimon's best friend list. Um, by the way, the r, &R they don't usually like... Oh yeah! They're so cute! We really have to thank those lovely carvings. The wood carvings? Yeah! If we hadn't seen those wood carvings, then we wouldn't have dreamed of such cute Arunara. Huh. <laughs> Don't worry, I know. I think they're very cute, and I'm happy to protect them. Well, it's almost time. Let's send her home. Yeah. <laughs> 
A nice place. I'll be back for sure. You will always be welcome here. Avine would be happy to see you again. It's a deal. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> you got it. Yoimiya, before you go back, I want to tell you about my new dream. I want to travel to Inazuma on my own and watch a fireworks show there. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect to be introduced to new customers while on vacation. Don't worry. I'll make you some fireworks that you'll never forget. You do as well. No matter how busy your adventures get, remember to come back to Inazuma. We'll always welcome you no matter when you drop by. You gotta come and watch the fireworks this meteor shower inspired as they soar high in the sky. Sounds like a plan. Why'd you just shout that out? It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, have a look at this. That's right, this is the one you helped me pick. And you said it looked kind of like me. I went to buy another one. This one's for you. Look at it whenever you're feeling down. Who knows, maybe I'll raise your spirits. If nothing else, you'll know that I'm supporting you all the way. Okay, I'll be heading back now. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. I really love the trip you prepared for me. In fact, I'm totally impressed. No matter where you two go, I know that our friendship and its warmth will support you. So, go forward. To the end of your journey and to the ends of this world. See you around.
when we have a moment. Hmm, wonder what's up this time. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some weeds while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's soul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? Don't worry, we'll help you remember! Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Oh, it's beautiful! It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm-hmm. I found it in the Sanctuary of Suristana, but... I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet, it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Traveler, do you have any ideas? Hmm... You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know right away! Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. Don't mention it! Besides, it seems you've got a lot on your mind and we'd like to help! Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Last warning! Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster! Please, don't worry. <laughs> hmm, I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. You could understand it? Mm-hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I can feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire need of our help. Well, fungi are kinda cute, but... That's 
true. Okay, let's go take a look. All right, lead the way, little fungus. Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see. It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. After all, they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not, and it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by shared emotions. It appears it was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Hmm. Seems like they might be family. So maybe this fungus wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hmm? What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Huh? An elemental life form? Yes. Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. I'll see what I can do right away. My power was compatible. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Dendro? Is it really the Lord of Dendro? Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Dendro saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and creature next to you. <coughs> it can talk? Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. What? Of course Paimon can talk. Uh, Paimon isn't a strange creature. Paimon's just... Uh, Paimon! Hello, Paimon. I'm not yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Oh, uh, well, no need to take it seriously. It's no big deal. Does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? You must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating, breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. So a creature may not speak, even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I dared not make the assumption that you could speak. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms but completely different interiors, just like fungi and slimes. Did this fungus study at the academia? It seems even more talkative than Paimon! You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. Let's find somewhere else to talk. 
It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. Me. It says that it's very thankful for your help. I was confident that I knew of all the creatures in Tavat. Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes, I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge about them. However, even if I were to lay out the traits of all elemental life forms, you don't seem to match any of them. What are you? And where did you come from? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time. Possibly longer than any records in existence. My home was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. A horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us, twisting and warping us, causing us to lose control. We were victims of the apocalypse, yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. We later found out that humans know the power of the Apocalypse, and refer to it as Forbidden Knowledge. Your home was destroyed by Forbidden Knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It's said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe of the desert should have ended a long time ago. The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both me and my family. Yes, how could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken away as the contamination inside of me was purged. Ah, I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of possibility. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining Forbidden Knowledge, right? That's right. The Forbidden Knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home... should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quickly. I was unable to fulfill our calling. I never found a way to save my homeland, and I have even forgotten where it is. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. Where are they? Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure who else is still alive. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. Just leave it to me. 
I'll leave the rainforest to the Aranara. And as for the city, there are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. Oh, yeah! They'll give us a hand! Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. That should do it. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe that you will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a feeling you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? You might not remember, but this is a prophecy that we deeply believe in. That the Lord of Dendro will bring us home once the catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, oh, I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble to me at all. Would you all be willing to come with me somewhere as we wait? The more family members that can return home with me, the better. But didn't you say that you don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. I will explain it to you along the way. There's something that I'm very concerned about. Yes. I didn't mention it just now, but do you remember when I told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine, yet also different? The elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus. What? Exactly. The prophecy that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental life form that once represented its race. I had to deal with the forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. The process, however, took away some of my memories. That sequence of events would explain the persistent feeling that I had unfinished business. Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah. I've been trying to think of a place that fits the description of its homeland, but I'm unable to come up with anything. Agreed. I really want to send them home, so they won't have to wander around anymore. The road here is a little rough. I'll lead the way. Can handle any road. Ah! Enemies, get up, traveler. Here. Yeah. Coming through. Let me scry. Scatter. Fate is upon you. Amazing. With such skills, you all would have definitely been able to find a way to survive the apocalypse. Uh, hey! Paimon has been meaning to ask. You all didn't originally look like this, did you? No, we didn't. The appearance of our kind will change according to the environment. After communicating with various living organisms in Sumeru, we discovered that fungi are the life form most adapted to live in these lands. Thus, we gradually took the form of fungi and became a part of their group. It's hard to believe that's even possible. 
The most important instinct any life form possesses is adapting to the environment. I don't think that should surprise you, Paimon. Your hand is shaped like that for a reason, so you are able to grip and use tools more easily. The reason why fungi absorb elemental power is to blend with the environment and fend off natural predators. We are Dendro life forms, one of the most ancient life forms in this land. That is why we are so adaptable. So you mean, if Paimon wanted to, Paimon could change into a different form as well? Not as freely, I'm afraid. You would require a long time to make that happen. Although this is common sense to us, it is still extremely difficult to explain. Hmm. Putting it as simply as possible, changing form requires energy. And energy comes with time. You cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly, nor can you force a tree to bear fruit overnight. I see. Humans have a term for this. It's called growth. Ah, you're so smart, Nahida! Paimon gets it now! Growth. I see. Yes, then this is what you would call growth. A most beautiful word. I shall enjoy it more as we walk. How much farther is it? We're about halfway there. You're doing great, Paimon. Do you need me to carry you on my back? Huh? Oh, no! Paimon was just curious! Paimon isn't that tired. <laughs> he seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Uh, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head? Defender, we will carry you later! We have monsters here! Hmm, I think we may have a different understanding of carrying someone. No matter whether it's tired or not, my child is always happy when I put it on my back. Child? You mean the fungi we ran into earlier? Yes. One was my friend, and the other was my child. Why can't your kid speak? Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my presence to change or affect the original state of the fungi species here. However, it is slightly different from an ordinary fungus. It seems to understand some human language, so I gave it a name. Oh, then it must be a really cute name. You know, like Bongo Head. Hmm, you have an odd taste for names. Huh? Paimon thinks that name is great. Strange and cute at the same time. It's a name only Paimon would be able to come up with. <laughs> That's right. The name I came up with was not as creative as Paimon's. I learned it from an adventurer. It's... its name is... I'm sorry, but I've forgotten. Uh, seems like I've forgotten many important things. Yes, I must remember it before I return. It's just as important as my homeland. also call it that before. It's the last form we take when we are at the end of our life. I... Paimon doesn't understand. It's trying to say that when they've suffered enough and reached the end of their life, they become a tumor of the withering. Yes. I would have also suffered the same fate if it wasn't for the Lord of Dendro's help. So... this is how the withering is formed? Previous research has revealed that forbidden knowledge is the root cause of the withering. But even if forbidden knowledge has been completely removed, its influence still remains, 
which is why the Withering remains even after Forbidden Knowledge has disappeared. They've been tormented by Forbidden Knowledge for a long time. It's understandable that they will eventually become the Withering, but what a sad and pitiful end. When I left my homeland, flowers like these filled the fields. Each bloom represented an individual life. They grew in the pristine lakes, in the fertile soil, in my home, and in the homes of my friends. They grew everywhere, until the world suddenly lost all its color and became tainted and murky. But it's alright. Our life essence, elemental power, still resides in this flower. After an adventurer clears the withering, I will quietly draw near the area. If I can sense the elemental power of my companions, then I take them with me. But that would mean the effects of forbidden knowledge could have... It's okay. That's not important anymore. I just hope that they can all make it back home. It's not right to leave them to simply perish in the open like this. Now that we finally have the chance to return home, each one I manage to bring back will make me that much happier. I understand. Just leave it to us. So you're worried about me? <laughs> it's fine. Forbidden knowledge doesn't exist anymore. It's natural to want to be overcautious when dealing with a highly venomous snake. But when all that's left is its skeleton, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, Pinon doesn't get what you two are talking about, but we're all ready to go now, right? Then let's do this! We've dealt with the withering countless times already! Committed to memory. Propagate. Sah. Delve into destiny. Decided by destiny. Let me scroll. Dissipate. able to make it to the end. If only it could have held on just a little longer. I hope that you will be free of this pain after returning home. Just thinking about how many elemental life forms have turned into tumors of the withering makes Paimon sad. It's okay. As long as elemental power still exists, then we will still be around. An external form is but a gift of time. Through growth comes change, and even abandonment of previous forms. However, our true nature is not so easily affected. It wouldn't have come to this if we were able to cure them earlier. But I will cure all of them. Even if 
it's just for the sake of the rainforest and all the life forms that live in it. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. It was a wise choice for us to place our trust in you and wait. Hold on. I think I got something. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much. So, they found a fungus that matches the description I gave them. It's currently unconscious. It must be in a similar situation as I was. We should hurry and go take a look. Okay, I'm...